Um, we gathered here uh, in uh, condemning the 26 years ago of uh, kidnapping the Kurdish leader, Mr. Ocalan, and abducting him on the international conspiracy to Turkey. Since then, he's been in a jail for 26 years in isolation, have no access to lawyers, have no access to families, visit. And uh, we don't know um, what's happening. We don't know the condition of uh, his health. Um, we're calling on Australian government and uh, New South Wales Parliament and the, all the human rights activists to be aware of situations of Mr. Ojalan, to find a way to complain, to pressure the Turkish state, the Erdogan regime, to release Ojalan and make sure he has access to lawyers and families uh, visit. They can imprison the just great freedom fighter, but they can never imprison the idea of freedom. There has been enough talks and delays. Now is the time for promote action. We call on the European institution and Australian institutions to establish a concrete measures which, if they are not complied with, will have significant consequences for Turkey as a member state. Kurdish leader Mr. Abdullah Öcalan must be immediately allowed to meet with his lawyers and families, ultimately be freed under conditions that allow him to play a role in finding a just and democratic political solution to Turkey's decade-old Kurdish conflict.